Representative Rice decided to tweet that NRA members were domestic security threats. Now, she's faced a lot of backlash over her comments. New York Democrat Congresswoman Kathleen Rice is under fire because she called me and really millions and millions of NRA members as domestic security threats. She literally called everybody that, domestic security threats. And then she tripled down on it. Now, this all came from an earlier comment regarding the death of Philando Castile. Uh, and everybody remembers that whole story. It was a tragedy. There's been a lot of discussion on that. And in response to that, Representative Rice decided to tweet that NRA members were domestic security threats. Now, she's faced a lot of backlash over her comments. And I want to go to our next guest, fellow domestic security threat, Cam Edwards, host of his domestic threat security show, Cam and Company. Uh, Cam, it's so good to see you, you know, because we being apparently fellow threats, I don't, I haven't been arrested yet. I can see that you haven't either. Um, and I'm not quite sure what the protocol for this is, being classified the same as actual terrorists in the United States. So I'm not quite sure what to expect on this one. What's your take? You know, Dana, I appreciate you having me on, by the way. Boogity boogity, uh, <laughs> since we're the new boogeyman. I, you know, it, this is ridiculous. And we talked about this on Cam and Company. I have gotten to meet over the 13 years that I've been doing this program uh, so many NRA members who are so inspirational to me. They have incredible stories. They are incredible people doing incredible things in their communities all across this country. Once a year, we get to gather for the NRA annual meeting. If we're lucky, we get to see each other at our local Friends of NRA dinner. But these are these are some of the, the bedrocks of communities across this country. And so to hear them defamed uh, as domestic security threats, you know, I, I know that Representative Rice isn't getting her way in Congress right now in terms of her gun control bills, but it's not because the NRA members are, are threatening members of Congress or are uh, security threats. We vote, Dana. That's what we do. That's why we're effective. And if there were 200 million Americans who were like the NRA, this country would be a better place because voter participation would be up. Everybody would have a first name relationship with their member of Congress. Uh, it would be a, a civically engaged country uh, where we're actually getting stuff done instead of, you know, going at each other's throats. Exactly. Well, there was a study that came out, and you and I have talked about this before or earlier this year, discussing, for instance, how concealed carry permit holders are the most law-abiding segment. Many of those, a uh, huge chunk of those are NRA members. I've, every time in any city where the annual meetings have been held, never, there's never been an incident, and there are, there are, I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands, like some over 80,000 NRA members that show up to these annual meetings. And for instance, in, in Paducah, uh, where, or no, Louisville, the, the, second, the, the second to last one in Louisville, I remember reading a story where local police said that crime actually decreased that weekend. There was a lull in crime during the NRA annual meetings in Louisville. And I mean, I'm just saying if, that, if everything that Representative Rice was saying about NRA members was true, don't you think it would look a lot differently, Cam? Absolutely. Look, I mean, here, here's, what, here's the situation right now. You have cities across the country that bid for the NRA to come to town, right? And when the NRA does come to town, they say, please come back and come back soon, right? Tell me any other uh, uh, quote unquote domestic security threat out there that is welcomed by the city leaders right, where you have banners hanging from the street posts welcoming the members of this organization to town, because that's what happens when the NRA shows up. And we have a great time, and we pour tens of millions of dollars into the local economy. And you're right, crime drops, and we leave, and everybody says, come back again real soon, won't you? You know what? The worst thing that ever happened to me, Cam, at an NRA annual meeting, because it was, you know, I went to one, the last one that I, oh, I've been to a ton of them, but the last one that I went to in Atlanta, you know, the worst thing that happened, it was so crowded and there were so many people going through because thousands of people came out. A gentleman accidentally stepped on my foot and turned around and said, ma'am, I am so sorry. That is awful. I I'm know. literally shaking. Like threats.